In the name of God, creator, redeemer, and sanctifier. Amen. There was a lot of discussion earlier this year after the Super Bowl about the greatest of all time. I'm not a football fan, but besides Jesus, who was the greatest? Who was one of the greatest? Joe Montana, I heard that twice today now. <laughs> yep, Brady. But aside from football, in all time, Beyonce. Martin Luther King. Shakespeare, yes. Gandhi. St. Paul's. Mother Teresa. Thomas Skillings. <laughs> the greatest among us. Our gospel opens with Jesus discussing how he is to be handed over to those in power, killed, and then rise three days later. In that time, like there was no concept of resurrection. And the di disciples don't understand. Let that be our assurance when we are uncertain or misunderstanding that we're in good company. And so they walk along the road and they're, somehow they got on this subject of who's the best? Like if I asked you all, who's best here? Are you, who's going to raise their hand? I'm the greatest at St. Paul's. The reality is you are all the greatest. But this pursuit for wealth, prestige, power, which remains true now, was true then. And in Jesus' time, you didn't achieve for those things. You inherited it by birth. So leaving your family of origin to go off and fish for people of course they don't understand. And children were not lifted up in that time. They started helping serve as soon as they could. And Jesus takes the children and puts them in the midst of them. Like you, Bar. Jesus takes you and puts you in the midst and says, whoever welcomes this child, whoever welcomes this child, not Joe Montana, not Mahatma Gandhi, but whoever welcomes this child, welcomes me. And if you welcome me, you welcome the one who sent me. The truth is, my brothers and sisters, we are all children of God. And we can get mists into those places of misunderstanding. Who is God? How is God? Where is God? And we have tools. We show up to church on Sunday morning, right? We say grace at meals. We have a new garden with a labyrinth. And labyrinths are interesting because there's really no destination. Just putting one foot in front of the other. But coming into the present moment. Of looking out into our world and saying, who needs a hand? Who can I reach out to? Or, I need help. This child that Jesus lifts up, says if you welcome him, you welcome me. This child is a servant in that time. This is a little bit of, for those Marthas out there. This is their Martha moment. The servant gets lifted up. Asking for help allows somebody to do that for you. So 
So I invite us to look both for the ways we can reach out, center in, and know that in doing so, we welcome God always. Amen.